Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews. We have some news today, so let's get to it. The very first thing I want to show you guys are a few images from Rebor. They just recently teased us with a few images coming up of some future releases, which I did not expect at all. It appears as though they will be releasing some dinosaur skulls, and I think that could be something that is really, really cool, and I'm actually quite excited about looking at these images. They do look really, really well sculpted, and of course, one specifically that I am extremely excited about. As you can see here, there is a Carnotaurus that they will be creating, and I actually do not have, aside from one very small Carnotaurus skull anyway, I do not have any Carnotaurus skulls in my collection, which is really quite shocking considering how big of a fan I am of Carnotaurus, but I've just been unable to acquire one so far, so uh, maybe Rebor will be the first, but regardless, I still think all three of the skulls look extremely, extremely cool that they've teased us with, and I am very excited about these. And they also posted a very brief update on the Titanoboa. The limited edition Titanoboa is currently being manufactured and will be released in May, so... That is very, very exciting news. I've had numerous people asking me if they could get an update on the Titanoboa figures from Rebor, and unfortunately, I had no news whatsoever prior to this, but now, luckily, we have found out that they will be released in May. As far as W Dragon goes, we have officially gotten images of the fully painted 120th scale Tyrannosaurus Rex that they will be releasing, and as far as a Lost World Jurassic Park male Tyrannosaurus Rex goes, I have never seen any better in my entire life. This thing is just absolutely gorgeous. It is next level beautiful. The paint apps on it as well are unbelievably well done. All the tones look honestly perfect and the dinosaur itself looks very vibrant, bright and just beautiful overall. Even the sculpt is just fantastic. A very large male Jurassic Park Tyrannosaurus Rex just kind of wandering along looking nice and menacing. I am just beyond in love with it, but this isn't your standard W Dragon release as this is, like I said, a 120th scale. I don't know if it's made of resin or not, but I know it is obviously a much larger figure than their usual PVC figures, so the price is much higher than you would normally see from a W Dragon release. However, it is up for pre-order right now on Dan's Dinosaurs, and you can pre-order it for $469.99, so again, it is a lot more expensive than most of the W Dragon figures that we've had so far, but it's also a very, very large statue, it appears, and incredibly, incredibly well done. So if you would like to pre-order this yourself, I will include a link in the description to where you can do that on Dan's Dinosaurs. And speaking of pre-orders on Dan's Dinosaurs, they also have pre-orders up now for the Allosaurus from Nanmu, which will be retailing at $59.99. I do believe you can probably order both versions of that Allosaurus from Dan's Dinosaurs. And they also have a pre-order link up for the Mosasaurus from Nanmu, which retails for $89.99. Ever since those Spinosaurus figures came out from Nanmu, it's just really been a waiting game kind of trying to see which figure would be coming first, the Allosaurus or the Mosasaurus. And as it turns out, we all just got slammed at once with the pre-order for the Mosasaurus and the Allosaurus. I do believe the Allosaurus will release first, followed quickly by the Mosasaurus within a few weeks' time. And also, as far as Nanmu goes, the Ankylosaurus has officially been sent to the factory to be molded, and you can see the image here of the Ankylosaurus looking just absolutely beautiful. And then we also have images of the Tyrannosaurus Rex head, a few different angles helping to give you a better look at what the detailing of the head sculpt is and just how beautiful it looks overall. Even appears to include wounds on the face like we see commonly associated with the male Tyrannosaurus Rex from Jurassic Park. So that is really cool. Nice little addition done by Nanmu there and definitely something that I think was a very realistic touch as far as the dinosaur goes in comparison to the way it's portrayed in the film. I'm really, really excited about all of these upcoming Nanmu figures, that is for sure. Then I recently stumbled across this image, and I really did want to show you guys this because it's pretty shocking to me just how bad the Chronicle Collectibles Tyrannosaurus, their one-fifth scale Tyrannosaurus Rex statue has come across. You can see kind of a comparison here between the Chronicle version and the Prime 1 Studios Tyrannosaurus Rex, which obviously the Prime 1 version is just far and away light years better 
in the paint application than the Chronicle Collectibles one, but a few news videos ago I had posted some images of someone that had received their 1 5th scale Rex, and I said that in the video I thought it looked pretty good, honestly, and the paint application looked like maybe it had improved a little from the previous releases from Chronicle Collectibles. However, this really nicely lighted image of the 1 5th scale Rex from Chronicle has completely turned my decision and my opinion around as now I think it just looks absolutely awful and is honestly a shame. I'm not really sure why Chronicle cannot get their paint applications under control to at least make them look a little bit better than they have been, but this is just terrible. It really does not look at all like the Jurassic Park T-Rex as far as the paint application goes, and considering the price of this is like $4,500, that is just an insanely expensive price to receive something that is so lackluster in the paint application. So really, really sad for anybody that actually has ordered this. But I think at this point, your best bet is probably to either repaint it yourself or have someone do it for you. Then I have something that is really, really cool. Star Ace Toys is releasing an Allosaurus from 1 million years BC. It is a soft vinyl figure and it is just amazing, absolutely amazing. If you are like me somewhere around my age and you've grown up on the stop motion films from Ray Harryhausen, then you will absolutely appreciate something as beautiful as this. I think the sculpt on this Allosaurus is incredible and honestly looks exactly like it does in the film. And one thing that is also cool about this is on top of getting this beautiful Allosaurus, you can also get a Tumok figure. So you can get the Tumok figure. I think you can buy either the Allosaurus in a standalone release or you can buy the two of them together and kind of create a very cool looking diorama. So that was an incredibly nice touch from Star Ace Toys, but I think both Tumok and the Allosaurus are just unbelievable. And honestly, if you're a fan of stop motion films like I am, this is kind of a must have. It is just ridiculously, ridiculously nice. The paint applications on both, the sculpts on both, everything is about as top notch as I've ever seen when it comes to something so beautifully vintage. And I really, really want to get my hands on these. I don't currently have a pre-order link or anything as I'm not 100% sure where exactly you can pre-order it or when it will be available to pre-order, but once that news does become public, as far as I can find out, I will be sure to let you guys know. And now guys, I have a question for you all. Have you ever wanted to own your very own Jurassic Park Raptor cage? Well, if you have, like me, I'm sure plenty of people have wanted something like that. Well, thanks to Vikefa Raptor on Facebook, he is actually creating Jurassic Park style cages, the Raptor cage, that are compatible with the Kenner and Mattel figures. So as far as I'm concerned, that is pretty much a dream come true for any type of a collector. If you collect things like I do, that is just amazing because that really takes the diorama possibilities and just the ability to display your figures, the possibilities when it comes to that to another level. That is amazing. As I said, he is creating these and selling them now on Facebook. He actually started out creating one just for himself and he had a very strong positive feedback when it came to those. So he started to create them to sell for others and he has since continued down that path. And as far as the cage goes, it is 27.5 centimeters by 16.5 centimeters by 12.5 centimeters and it is made of 1 8 laser cut MDF and actual pictures of the Raptor cage were used to 3D model the cage so that is amazing it also comes with assembly instructions and stickers to apply to your cage and you can see by these images it is honestly amazing it is so well done it is ridiculous so if this is something that interests you and if you are a collector of the Jurassic Park line I would imagine it probably does I will include a link in the description to where you can contact Vike for Raptor on Facebook or you can email me and I can pass your information on to him to try to get you guys this Raptor cage if you do in fact want to order it. The price I do believe is 60 US dollars and that is including shipping. So that is one heck of a steal for this. Of course it is an unassembled and unpainted kit so you would have to assemble it yourself. but. Honestly, that's half the fun as far as I'm concerned. He is also currently working on more future Jurassic Park style products. One is a Jurassic Park gate in 164th scale and it is compatible with the Matchbox cars which you can see here. So that is also amazing. Really, again, the type of stuff that as far as a collector goes, this is the type of stuff that we dream
dream about and I am so excited about the potential of what he is creating here and just how incredible it honestly looks. It is beautifully done, really, really beautifully done and he is also actually currently in the process of creating the Raptor Paddock as well. So again, all amazing stuff coming out of the Vike for Raptor Jurassic Park line and again, if you are interested in the Raptor cage, I will include a link like I had stated in the description or you can contact me and I will contact him for you so you can place an order for that beautiful Raptor cage or potentially some of these other items that will be coming in the very near future. As far as Mattel goes, and thank you to Collect Jurassic for this information, someone recently found the new Savage Strike figures showing up in Kohl's. So far we haven't really found these in any stores like Target or Walmart or anything, but in Kohl's they have obviously shown up and I do believe the Sora Pelta would have been included in this release, however it's not in the picture so someone must have purchased that before the picture was taken. Really think it's awesome that these are finally showing up, I have yet to find that Charlie figure so I'll have to scope out my local Kohl's and see if I can in fact find one, but I did want to let you guys know if any of you are on the hunt for these figures that again they are starting to show up in Kohl's. And then as far as the final Mattel news goes, and thank you to Grimlock King. 9 on Instagram who sent me this image. We now have an official look at the Camp Cretaceous packaging but also an official look at the upcoming Parasaurolophus figure in the Camp Cretaceous packaging and the packaging itself looks amazing honestly. I really really think that that beautiful packaging really suits the figure and the overall style of Jurassic World. It looks great for sure and you can also see a nice little sneak peek of the Carnotaurus down there along with some images of people that appear to be kind of blurred out. We're not too sure who that is exactly down there. I'd assume some characters from the show quite obviously, but since we don't know too much about the show yet, we don't really know who they are. I think the Parasaurolophus looks really, really good as far as the paint application goes, and definitely something that I will be looking forward to when it does officially release later on this year. So as of right now, guys, that's all the news I've got. When more comes out, I'll be sure to send it your way, but until then, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.